good morning to everyone so today we are going to see about the unit 5 uh, the topic is uh, we are going to see about the branch and bound problem in branch and bound problem we are going to discuss about all these three things that is assignment problem knapsack problem and traveling salesman problem so first uh, we are going to discuss about what you mean by in uh, definition of a branch and bound so in this we will be uh, designing a, a state space tree with all possible solution which you have generated and then we partition the branch at each node of the tree so by computing the bound value so what we need to do here in the sense means the state space tree will be generated and then the bound the bound value will be calculated for each node so we need to compare the bound value with uh, each node which one the bound value is uh, better than the other node uh, again from that node uh, uh, the branching will be continued further so that's a, a concept behind the branch and bound so with it with this uh, we are going to uh, uh, see about uh, see about the assignment problem first so in the assignment problem uh, they have given us job 1 job 2 job 3 and job 4 so this table will be given in the question and then person a person b and then person c person d so th uh, these uh, these things they will be giving you in the question so next um, what you should do is we need to generate the state space tree so how the state space tree is generated in the sense means we need to draw the uh, node like this with the root as start and then the lb is lower bound value so in each row we need to find the minimum value in this in this row the minimum value is 2 so put square over this so right here 2 plus and then next in the second row the minimum is 3 plus 3 and then again in this third row the minimum is of 1 so 1 and then this fourth row the minimum is of 4 so minimum is 4 so sum up these values you will be getting as 10 so this is the minimum value of the lower bound value for the root for the root node which you have calculated so the next thing is uh, from this we need to find that so here uh, uh, totally four jobs and four persons are given so what you can do with this uh, uh, branch and bound in the sense means initially uh, from these four jobs a can be of job one or a can be of job two and then a can be of job three and then a can be of job four so out of this any any one job will be of uh, yes job so totally four possibilities are there for a so we need to first find for a which is assigned as one if a is assigned as job one in the sense means so if a is assigned as job see here a is assigned as job one so a is assigned as job one is 10 so we need to put as 10 which means that this entire column should not be selected further okay so this entire column should not be selected further because a is assigned as job one so this uh, this side uh, you should hide it so this column should be you should hide it and then the next thing is that uh, the next part is of what you should do is next for person b so when when we are hiding and then if you see for the person b the minimum value we need to see from job 2 job 3 job 4 the minimum value is 3 so i am marking as 3 and then next for c person c what is the minimum job when hiding the uh, job 1 it is of 1 so i am marking here as 1 and then likewise for person d when we hide the job 1 the minimum value is of 4 so you need to mark here as 4 and then when we add this we will be getting as 18 so similarly for uh, if a is assigned as 2 so if a is assigned as 2 so this is a person a a is assigned as 2 is 2 so i am putting as 2 so similarly this yeah, job 2 should not be disturbed so this should be hidden when you are seeing for person b person c and person d okay so a is assigned as job 2 that is 2 i have mentioned here plus so next for b when we hide this we need to see 6 3 that is second row of b 6 3 and 7 the minimum is 3 so i mentioned as 3 again for person c 5 1 and then 8 the minimum is of 1 and then again uh, person d 7 10 and 4 the minimum is 4 so we need to mention here so the, the total is of 10 so similarly we need to for a it is assigned as 3 and then a is assigned as 4 if a is assigned as 3 the same thing will be happen so a is assigned as job 3 that is 7 i mentioned here this entire thing we should hide 
and then uh, we need to look over the the other jobs uh, for uh, person b person c and then person d so for person b the minimum is a uh, four uh, and then for person c the minimum is a uh, five and then for person d the minimum is a uh, four so this thing will be uh, added and then they have some data so likewise we need to do for uh, a is assigned as job four a is assigned as job four is eight so hide these things and then for person b the minimum is three for person c the minimum is one and then person d the minimum is of six so this thing is added so in this uh, the lower bound value the minimum value is of 10 so we have calculated so in this the further branching should be occur so this should be continued with this so a is assigned as job 2 that is confirmed so remaining persons are b c and then d so first we need to go for b so uh, the free jobs so what are the jobs left to begin so if a is assigned as 2 1 3 4 are left to behind so b is assigned as 1 again b is assigned as 3 again b is assigned as 4 the remaining left jobs we need to do so if b is assigned as 1 so how to calculate the lower bound value is you need to go to the root that is of a is 2 see here a is assigned as job 2 so a is assigned as job to 2 so we need to write here okay so this entire column you should not disturb so after that b is assigned as 1 so b is assigned as 1 that is 6 we need to write here and then this entire column should not be disturbed so first thing is as a is assigned as job 2 and then the next is b is assigned as job 1 this you should hide like this so and then the remaining thing is as c and d so for c the minimum we need to choose from 1 and then 8 the minimum is 1 and then for d the minimum is of uh, uh, we need to choose from 10 and 4 the minimum is of 4 so i have mentioned this so the uh, total addition will be getting as 13 so and then for b as 3 so for b as 3 in the sense means uh, uh, b is assigned as job 3 so move to the root a is assigned as 2 so a is assigned as job 2 so right here and then after that b is assigned as job 3 b is assigned as job 3 3 okay so first a is assigned as job to hide this b is assigned as job 3 hide this so the remaining thing is c so from c is 5 and then 8 minimum is 5 and then d uh, 7 and then 4 the minimum is 4 so i have written this so see here this is a this is the part i have given here so after that um, the same thing can be done for uh, if b is assigned as 4 so after calculating the the lower bound value the minimum value which we have obtained is of 13 so from this uh, again we need to continue the branching so 13 so so from b i am continuing it so when uh, uh, continuing from the b so a is assigned as 2 see here in the previous thing a is assigned as 2 and then here we have confirmed with the lower bound value as 13 is the lower bound value so b is assigned as 1 so a is assigned as 2 b is assigned as 1 so remaining is c and then d so c is c uh, and then d is there if c is assigned as 3 then automatically d will be 4 and then the other possibility is if c is assigned as 4 then automatically d will be as 3 so now what we should do is uh, so we need to calculate the lower bound for this node and this first for this this state space tree so c is assigned as 3 and then d equal to 4 so again we need to start from the root so see here uh, this is branching towards b and then this b is branching towards a so again start from start from this table itself a is assigned as 2 a is a is assigned as uh, 2 that is job 2 so right here a is assigned as job 2 is 3 so next is as b is assigned as uh, b is assigned as 1 so see here b is assigned as 1 so b assigned as 1 that is jobs uh, that is 6 uh, b is assigned as 6 so next is c is assigned as 3 c is assigned as 3 so c is assigned as 3 is 1 so c is assigned as uh, 3 is 1 next d is 4 so d is 4 in the sense means d is assigned as job 4 is 4 so if you add this will be getting as 13 so similarly we need to do for like this so that is a is assigned as job 2 b is assigned as job 1 and then the same thing a is uh, assigned as job 2 will be a is assigned job 2 will be 2 so that is written here and then b is assigned as job 1 b is assigned as job 1 is 6 
so that we have mentioned and then again c is assigned as job 4 so c is assigned as job 4 is 8 so that i have mentioned here and then d is assigned as 3 job 3 so d is assigned as job 3 that is mentioned as 10 so that i have mentioned here so totally the value will be getting as 26 so in this you see the minimum value 13 is minimum so this is my the final lower bound value so it is confirmed that c is assigned as 3 and then d is assigned as a job 4 so finally we can uh, we can conclude that so from this uh, from this we need to go to the root so the from the lower bound of uh, uh, we need to go to the root so c is 3 and d c is 3 and then d is 4 and then b is 1 b is 1 again b is connected with the uh, root of a s 2 so that is a s 2 so this is a, a problem which we have concluded so again uh, we have uh, the one more uh, a question for you to do the assignment so this is a question so you note down this question and then complete the assignment and submit it uh, for this week thank you